In this chapter, we will learn and perform the important data formatting methods using packages and functions like reshape, t, character strings, and pattern matching and replacement. Transpose using reshape. This function resets a data frame between wide format and long format with the repeated measurements in separate records. To understand the reshape function, let's understand the wide format and the long format. In a wide format, the variables are stored in a columnar wise. For example, here in the sample, as you can see, the first row is the header, that is the labels to identify each columns, and most of the data are in wide formats, while long format is the vice versa for the wide format. Now, we will learn how to interchange from wide to long format and vice versa using a melt function from reshape to package. First, install and load the package reshape to. Then load a sample data, for example, wide format on CSV, when header is equal to true. The data is in wide format, so from wide format to long format, use melt function, where t underscore data is the R object containing the data, comma id vars variables is the column name and the value names is equal to name of the variable that is the column name used to store the values. View the data, we will see it is transformed into long format. Now to convert from long format to wide format using another reshape to function called dcast, where name is the first column name, variable is the second column name, and the value.var is the third column name. View the data, we will see our table is back to our original long format. With the base R package, there is also another simple way to transpose the data by using T function. Just mention the R object containing the data with T function, then it will automatically convert it to long format, else from long to wide format. The only difference is the reshape function provides more options to format the data into wide or long format. Next, we will see how can we manipulate the character strings. Load a sample data like character data.csv, then extract only the important column, but remember to convert it with as.dataframe. Rename the column name for our convenience. Then we have to transform the product variable to a character data type, as string functions like sub str works with the character data type. Now using sub str, we will extract only the values starting from second character to 10 character value. Hence, very useful when we need to extract on the important subject. To transform into lower and upper case, just use the word to upper and to lower. We'll transform all the character strings into uppercase else lowercase. Now, to split the strings, we will use str split function with the splitting criteria to indicate r to split the values based on the criteria. For example, hash will indicate r. Wherever there is hash, it will split the character values. This, these tables, if we have observed, has hash after the value, got split it into two separate rows. However, str split function stores the data in a list, so use the unlist to save it in a row columnar format. Type matrix unlist c data one, then the number of column is equal to two by rows is equal to true. View the data to display the output as a data frame. Pattern matching and replacement. GRP function is used to extract the data that matches with the pattern. For example, GRP X, then the column name of the R data object, where X is the pattern. The same goes with the GRP L. The only difference between GRP and GRP L is GRP function will give the positions that is the index values of the data that matches with the pattern and GRPL is a logical indicator true and false of the data that matches with the pattern. Now from this sample, we will grab only the rows that has X character in it. For example, 46X 60 computer that is multiplied by 60 computers. Define the grapple with pattern and the data in the row and space in the column for all columns, that is row column format. Now, this will give rows having the value x in the production column. Next, it's a sub and g sub to replace the pattern matching. However, sub only replace the first occurrence and g sub for all. For example, replace the blank space with question mark. 
sub first define the pattern in this case blank space then the substitute value for the blank space that is the question mark do the same for g sub and observe the difference in sub we will see after the b a r r i c k s space is replaced by question mark 18 then the spaces after that are not being replaced by question mark while in g sub we can see all the blank spaces are being replaced by the question mark. Next, we will learn how to visualize the data to create data stories.